Okay, so I want to do something a little different. So let's start with this. Divine Masculine, hey, how you doing? Um, you might not know me because I usually don't do these, but I'm starting to try to carve a lane for you guys. Um, so hi, my name is B. Lovely to have you here joining me. Um, again, I usually don't do these. I notice that for myself, I usually channel them toward Divine Feminine. Um, but I did Divine Feminine last week and I was like... Let's check in with the masculine see what we're doing i do want to start carving a lane for y'all i realized that so many people um focus and pander to divine feminine because we're the awakened ones i mean what else do you want me to say Same. um <laughs> you know but i uh did want to definitely see what you guys had going on so let's jump in um if you're accustomed to being here welcome back um if you're new here hi hopefully you know you enjoy the tings of the tings and you know you can be a part of our lovely collective um like and subscribe so you can join our family description box tings are down below for a how-to book i am a full-time reader um i should i guess i should say part-time now but whatever i'm a full-time reader um <laughs> And we do have a Patreon and da-da-da-da-da. So, again, just check down below in the description box. Let me also prefix this by saying Divine Masculine doesn't have to just mean you have a dick and balls between your legs. Okay? Um, you can also definitely just be in masculine energy. Um, feminine doesn't mean that you're hips, lips, and fingertips. Okay? Um, that you have a clitoris. You can just be in feminine energy. It is whichever um, is your home and natural energy. Okay? So if this resonates, you're divine masculine. If this doesn't resonate, check out divine feminine because you might be a feminine. It's no tea, no shade. And it's not an issue. Um, the feminines are typically the chasers. The masculines are typically the runners. Um, so it just depends on whatever side of the spectrum you start on. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give some insight to see what it is that you have going on. Just a simple checkup. Um, you could be cross watching. I know sometimes the feminines like to cross watch and watch the masculine. So if you are a feminine checking in, hi, um, don't confuse yourself trying to cross watch. Okay. Cause you know, we love to do that. Well, y'all, I stopped doing that a long time ago after I learned my lesson, but you know, sometimes you confuse the shit out yourself because you cross watching. So, you know, but all is welcome. We're going to start with these. I wanted to pull these for the oracles. Um, and then we'll jump into the tarot. And then we'll do channel messages from Divine Feminine. Um, it's funny. Y'all are having a lot of meditation music. If you don't know Divine Masculine, um, I typically like to play music um, as I do these. Helps me kind of channel and get the messages. But y'all have had y'all have had a lot of meditation music. So I don't know if y'all need meditation the first song that we started with was spiritual awakening so i do feel like you guys are obviously going through a spiritual awakening right now clearly right so let's go ahead and see what um cards that you have what universal love messages do we have for divine masculine thank you l thank you always for these messages allow these messages to be clear give me one more Okay, um, so you have I heart you for the first one out, Divine Masculine. The back of the card says, if everyone really knew how much they were loved, not only from above, but by those in their life, there would be little hearts drawn over everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. And I so look forward to that day. Okay. The second one says... Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Back of the card says, do you know what you've created? No. Besides an intercal intergalactically known saunter named after you, inspiration in the eyes of those that watch you, hope in the minds of those that admire you, and love in the hearts that have known you. But you might ease up on your sachet, but you might ease up on your sachet before someone gets hurt. Okay. And the last card here for you guys in the oracles says things are not as they appear, divine masculine. The lower, the lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Okay. Bottom of the deck card says you have what it takes. Okay. I'm not gonna read the back of it. We're just gonna take it for face value. So, so far for the back of these cards, the first thing I'm definitely getting is it's time to definitely step into your own uniqueness. What makes you you? 
right? Um, I was doing my Patreon um, information and I did kind of pick up on a twin flame narrative where it's like some of you guys could definitely be stepping into that. That could be a part of your spiritual awakening, um, really learning and understanding like, hey, you know, I want to do things that are unique to me. You know what I mean? Like I'm my own person. I am just as unique as everyone else. I have something to say. I have a way I feel. I know how I feel. And it's definitely time to really start pushing into that and stepping into that. Um, this also makes me feel like, again, with the, if everyone knew how much they were loved and do you know what you created divine masculine, I feel like this is also a time if you're not stepping into this energy right now, this is a good time to step into the energy of really realizing who you are. Divine feminine has already done that, right? So this could either be where you are right now or where you need to be, where it's like, this is a time to really realize just how much you're loved. And just how much you also inspire people and how much people really do love you, whether it be people you know or don't know, or maybe just your divine feminine, right? Like maybe you know your family love you, but maybe you still question if your divine feminine actually really does love you, right? And this is a time to actually start stepping into that, like to really understand and know the impact that you have. That's why I says, do you know what you created? Enjoy your own extraordinary uniqueness. You're loved just for who you are, how you are. You don't have to change. You don't have to morph yourself into all of these different sort of things. Um, even if it doesn't really look like it, right? Things are not as they appear, right? So on the outside, it could seem like you have to do all of this. You have to be all of these things. You have to be this person and that person and pander to this person and them and them and family and friends and all of the people that really don't give a fuck about you anyway, right? You have to wear so many hats, right? And that's not true. That's not, things are not as they appear, right? So just because you, it seems like this is who you have to be, or you have to be super cold and super macho. I know that that's a thing with divine masculines. I pick up too a lot. Whereas like you, y'all feel like y'all have to be so tough and so cold and so Mr. Cool guy, Mrs. Cool. And then it's like, you really don't, you get so much farther just being yourself. The money don't mean shit. The Mr. Macho shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, in my feelings by Lana Del Rey. So y'all really be in y'all feelings just as much as the feminists do. But see, on the outside, it seems like you have to act so cool. And that's not true. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value. The lower the price of your love, the higher its value, right? Which again, which means you don't have to tax so much on being loved by you or to have that love i feel like for a lot of y'all y'all feel like y'all have to pay big prices just for people to love y'all y'all feel like y'all have to you water yourself down and be this person and that person and pander to everybody just to be loved you really don't you don't have to pay these big prices and big tolls just to finally feel the love that you secretly deep deep down really want to have you don't right it's time to actually add some sachet into your walk is what I'm getting with this. Um, inspiration in the eyes of those that's watched you. Hope in the minds of those that admire you. Love in the hearts of those that have known you. And yet you still move and get to acting like you're not an extraordinary person. You know what I mean? Like as if people don't fucking love you. As if you don't have what it takes. It's time to really add that oomph back to yourself. You know what I mean? Like it's been too long. <laughs> Even if it seems like on the outside, you know, people don't love you. They do. Even if it seems like your feminine doesn't care. She does. She does. In My Feelings by Lana Del Rey is playing. So it's definitely giving you guys might be in your feelings. But again, it's like things aren't as they appear. So this could even be you. Where it's like y'all in y'all feelings, but y'all still trying to act like y'all not in y'all feelings. Where is that getting you? How far is that getting you? Is it getting you anywhere? That's a good question. Is it getting is it getting you anywhere? If you know you love somebody and you and your feelings and then you keep trying to act like I don't know what you're talking about, where is that getting you? And how how long are we gonna keep playing this role? Right? Yeah, because you got me in my feelings, said Lana Del Rey. Because you got me in my feelings. Yeah. So it seems as if your divine feminine definitely has you in your feelings. But again, it's time to really step into that order, extraordinary uniqueness. So it's time to really tap into that heart chakra. It's time to really open it up and put that on the table. You know what I'm saying? Especially for those of you masculines who maybe grew up in a different environment, right? Where it's like, well, I didn't grow up 
telling my emotions, <laughs> right? I didn't grow up being super open and vulnerable, okay? But again, that's not getting you anywhere, trying to play Mr. Cool Guy. So what are we doing, you know? You have what it takes to be loved, to, to have this love, to really conquer it and go for it. But you got to believe that you got what it takes. You got to believe that you can be the one that that's deserving of love. Or you keep concealing and hiding your feelings and your emotions. And I mean, you know, miss an opportunity. <laughs> it's on you. Give me something for the divine masculines. Yeah, tower moment. Four of swords. Six of swords. Mm -hmm. And the six of swords is reversed. So you guys are definitely not fixing something. Divine masculines, y'all are needing to actually fix something or take initiative or there's something you feel like can't be fixed and that could be why your ass is in your motherfucking feelings yeah five of cups down at the bottom of the deck of the deck so you guys are definitely regretful and remorseful i do see that a tired moment definitely happened you're having a separation with somebody i am getting scorpio energy i'm getting pisces energy i'm getting gemini energy you are very regretful i remember my keisha cole is playing right now um so yeah you definitely um <laughs> reminiscing i tell you that huh <laughs> y'all think about something I remember when my heart broke. Yeah, that's what she said. I remember when my heart broke. So y'all definitely did something. You're reminiscing and you're definitely in a regretful state. Yeah, you definitely caused somebody some hurt and some pain and all of that shit blew the fuck up in your face tower moment. And now you could definitely be in separation with somebody. But um, this six of swords is reversed. So this is upright. It's very much this too shall pass, right? Reversed is it's stuck, right? So you guys could maybe be stuck. For some of you, I am seeing that you want to do something with these last three here. You have the lover's card, the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles. I mean, knight of cups. I'm sorry. Um, and the three of pentacles, knight of pentacles did slip out. So maybe you guys are moving, but you just moving slow. That could be a thing too. Oh, sorry. I had my heater on before I started. So my face is a little a little moist um yeah very much getting sad and lonely with, with i remember playing in the background so i do feel like with me accidentally saying um yeah this tried to come out so some of y'all are trying or either thinking about um moving something forward but you're stuck you're stuck because there could be some insight that's needed others of you could maybe be trying to figure out how to fix things three of pentacles so that is that working together as a team coming together as a team to be a team to move things forward you definitely love somebody that is for sure you in your feelings that you are in love the knight of cups is here is an offer of intimacy vulnerability um romance but y'all are stuck somewhere uh give me this hangman this six of swords and this hangman energy clarify both for me for the fine masculine what is this energy okay so some of you are stuck because you some of you are judging yourselves and that's why you're still in this five of cups with the six of swords some of you feel like it can't be fixed and that could be why it says things are not as they appear for some of you you feel like things can't be fixed because they you're feminine right this is divine feminine with this empress so for a lot of you you want to come fix things y'all are currently in separation but it's very much giving they judge you real hard and you want to actually impulsively make a move. Aries energy is here. Um, so that could even be something with this Aries. Um, I'm seeing Jupiter. I know Aries is uh, Aries is in Jupiter. Jupiter is in Aries. <laughs> I've had a long day. Jupiter is in Aries. I, it's at zero degrees right now when it's about to move into Pisces. So you could be having some dreams. You could actually about to cross watching um if you're divine feminine here some of them could maybe even about to be take in action they could definitely be taking action when jupiter moves into pisces is what i'm hearing it's like somebody had to get up the momentum or something somebody had to like get their nuts up <laughs> it's kind of what i'm hearing and then it's like jupiter and pisces is gonna remind motherfuckers that dreams can come true things aren't as they appear 
divine masculine you could be as you're watching I'm, that could also apply for you too where it's just like right now you're being stuck because you had to kind of get your nuts up you know what i mean um Jupiter in Aries is more of an impulsive, expanding energy. So you could have really been feeling impulsive, but maybe you didn't have the plan together for some of you. So I am seeing that too, where it's like you want to impulsively come in, but you could be judging yourself on how you're coming in. And it's just like, nah, I got to really tap into that uniqueness. I got to pull a rabbit out of a hat so I can really, really bring things back together. Things aren't going to go back together if I just impulsively come in, but then I don't have anything or I haven't really proven anything or I don't have an offer of, of some sort of, I love you. Show me how. Yeah. Show me how with, um, what is the squirt name? Men I, tr men I trust. Okay. So that, yeah, that makes sense. And that definitely could be a play on words, men I trust. So Divine Masculine, if you already know you done fucked up somebody trust, yeah, you got to really show somebody how much you love them. Yeah, so that's also that too. Jupiter moving into Pisces, I feel like will be real good. Um, follow your dreams, Divine Masculine, um, literally or figuratively. If you know that you dream of being with this person, finish kind of strategizing on what to do and then come on. You know, like, like get a move on it my boy um or my girl depending on of course you know masculine energy is not by genital parts but for some of you this also could be an actual dream i am picking that up very heavy so for some of you yeah it's very much getting that where it's just like things are moving forward because i i need to show and prove some of you uh divine masculine you're judging yourself or and or afraid to be judged and it's like well what keeps me from being impulsive is i keep judging myself on what i did on how i fucked up on how i um mishandled the situation when i know i could have did better should have did better others of you this could not even be you judging yourself it's definitely feeling like your person might be judging you like divine feminine might really judge you for what you did you know what i mean um for how everything came crashing and burning she they could even kind of just be trying to hide from you you know what i mean uh you see the fox here is kind of giving like a hunting sort of energy so they could kind of be trying to stay away from you and you like no i'm trying to find them <laughs> i'm trying to find them actually they got me blocked on everything i, I can't call them because I, they got my number blocked and they blocked all my socials they spam my email they don't want to hear from me at all <laughs> right and it's just like so i'm trying to figure out how i can get to them but i feel like for some of you you might be kind of tired and giving up the fight where it's just like i'm stuck do i keep looking for them do i keep looking for ways to fix it so it depends on you let me see give me something else for the divine masculine by men i trust because i i really like that song show me how it's a really good song so i definitely feel like that's not a coincidence at all for a lot of you this is very much giving you got to show and prove yeah and they don't trust you <laughs> your divine feminine divine feminists are not trusting y'all right now and as a divine feminine i died <laughs> amen <laughs> just saying I do feel like you guys are stuck right now, though, right? The two of um, swords is here, right? So things are at a standstill right now, but I do feel like you're about to start moving forward. Um, you're keeping the faith for a lot of you. So even though, again, things might be a little rocky, whether or not you really feel like you can fix it, maybe some of you know you can fix it, but it's like, hold on, you know what I mean? Knight of Pentacles, I'm, I'm coming, but I'm just trying to get it together. I'm, I'm coming, I'm moving, I'm moving, I promise. I'm just trying to get it all together. Um, the Four of Wands is here. So yeah, someone definitely wants to be in harmony. I'm picking up for most of you guys. Y'all keeping the faith and y'all want to be in harmony. Y'all know that y'all want to come back and fix things, but for a good bit of you, it's the trust and it's the fact you really got to put your money where your mouth is. You really got to put your money where your mouth is. Temptation. Yeah, my future is playing. But I feel like you're, you're real tempted. Yeah, you're real tempted to come on, move on in. You're real tempted. You're tempted to just say, fuck all of the theatrics and I'm going to just come back in and just... Yeah, I heard... <laughs> I literally just heard, I'm, I'm about to go get my bitch. That's literally what I heard. So for a lot of you, you are tempted. Divine Feminine, if you cross-watching, this could be for you. Where it's like, shit is not how it appears. You think that motherfucker's just not thinking about you. No, they plotting. But I feel like for somebody, they really want things to move forward. Here's this page of swords with this five of swords. So this is somebody really trying to come up with something. 
page of swords is very much a confusing energy so for some of the divine masculines y'all could maybe be super confused about like how they even feel or what you should do um others of you i feel like this is confused on how to fix it what you need to do but the justice card is here we are still in libra season so libra season could be significant libra could be significant aquarius could be significant we have the star card here as well but i do feel like overall union and reconciliation is is desired by divine masculine that is just generally they could be watching you on socials to make sure there's nothing going on behind their back with this five of swords you see there's something going on behind their back so it's definitely giving you know they could be watching you to make sure there ain't shit going on behind their back but there's a foundation that needs to be restored um yeah it's like i'm tired of just thinking in nostalgia you know what i mean this is reversed so it's like i'm tired of being in nostalgia i'm tired i'm tired of just thinking about the memories of it all i want to be back together A reminder here that again you have what it takes to buy a masculine so if you know that you're planning something and plotting something keep going with your move if you don't know what to do and you just like i want my bitch back but i don't know what to do <laughs> um this is a time to really tap into that uniqueness do something to set you apart what what really drives that home you know what i mean get out of the box get out of the box get out stop thinking ordinary stop thinking the way that you always thinking yeah sun card down at the bottom of the deck because new opportunities and new beginnings can be had but if you don't believe it who's gonna believe it divine feminine can't come try to coach you oh baby come on because this is what you have to actually drop your nuts stick your chest out and go handle it easier said than done i know it's hard right i'm gonna talk to you the same way i talk to the to the feminists it's easier said than done it's hard but as the masculine, it's up to y'all to actually drop y'all nuts. Whether or not you drop your nuts is on you. But you actually got to drop your nuts and actually do this. You have to be the one to initiate the foundation. And a lot of you are doing that. You are. It's just you moving slow. Things are at a standstill right now because it's definitely giving finances. Um, Clarify this Knight of Pentacles for the masculine for me. Yeah, you've made the decision. You've made the decision, yeah. For a lot of you, the decision is made. For a lot of you, the decision is made. You know where you want to be. You know where you want to go. You're going. Yeah. Four of wands, six of wands, seven of wands. You know you want victory with this person. You know you want to be with this person. Either they got to guard up with you, you got to guard up with them, or this is actual blocking. Like like I, like I said, it's like I'm looking for my bitch, but I can't find her. She got me blocked on everything. <laughs> and that shit not funny. It's not. But it is. But it's not. It's funny because... <laughs> As Divine Feminine, I kiki and I cackle. But it's not funny as a reader because I understand that this really does add some despair to you. Because it's like, no, I really do want to fix things. And I don't know how. And now that I'm trying to plot on how to fix things, I don't know how to contact them. They block me on social media. They block my phone number. They didn't block me on everything. I can't even find them to even lurk, to even say I'm sorry. Fuck my way up to the top by Lana Del Rey. Y'all got a lot of, listen, and this is not my love playlist. Y'all got a lot of love songs coming for this to not be a playlist, right? But fuck my way up to the top make me feel like, yeah, because y'all, y'all, y'all wasn't being authentic. Y'all wasn't being authentic. Like I said, y'all wasn't trying to really let the mask down. Y'all was trying to act like something y'all not being super macho, Mr. Macho, Mr. Player, everybody in your family, uh, pimp women and you the one at you the one lover boy out of your whole family but then you don't want to just stand in that uniqueness you don't want to be the one lover in your family you want to play like you a uh, uh, big pimping and big player like everybody else and that shit costed you that's what it's given me and now you're confused because you like well damn yeah <laughs> i just heard future you'll never ever get your bitch back yeah and now that's how you feeling because it's like damn will i get my bitch back Things are not as they appear. That's all, that's all I'm going to say about that. Things are not as they appear. And push into your ordin ordinary uniqueness. Push into what makes you unique. Push into who you really are. Not what other people told you you needed to be. Not what who your cousins, family, uncle, brothers, cousins, mamas, friends told you you needed to be. Push into who you are. And that's what's going to really work this out. Allow that to be the foundation that you build this relationship on. Not all of this bullshit mistrust. Then you want to act like they don't trust you. Yeah, because a lot of y'all was wearing masks. A lot of y'all was concealing and being sneaky, sneaky and, and, and secretive. A lot of y'all was trying to act like something that you wasn't. And that shit costed you. 
Now you like, I'm tired of just reminiscing. I want to come fix it. I don't care. Give me one more before we move into channel messages. Yeah, because your, cause your woman has started, divine feminine started standing in their power. That's what this is giving. Because divine feminine started standing in their power. They weren't here for the sneaky shit no more. Queen of Wands. They, they were, they, divine feminine woke up and was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> you, ma divine masculine, forgot all about that. Like, hold on, I t my bitch is my bitch is that bitch. You forgot all about that. Yeah, roses by Outcast. Yeah, cause cause roses really smell like boo boo. <laughs> give me, give me the motherfucker. Give me, give me, give me the, give me the goddamn. Yeah, I know you like to act like your shit don't stink, but lean a little closer and see that roses really smell like boo-boo. Yeah, I knew that was, that was the part I was trying to get. Even though you need a golden calculator to divide, the time it took for you to look inside and realize that real guys go for real down to Mars girls. I guess down to earth. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, because I know you like to think your shit don't stink, but it does. Yeah, that was a yeah. And Divine Feminist started moving like her shit don't stink. That's what this is getting, yeah. Because she was, she was, she was being a real down South girl. She was being real down home, real loving. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's giving it. She was, she was being real down to earth, real loving, real, real nurturing, real motherly, right? And then it's like she woke up one day and was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> My shit don't stink. I'm not a regular bitch. <laughs> I'm not a regular bitch. Not me acting like a regular. Not this not this person acting like I'm a regular. Not divine masculine acting like I'm a regular. I ain't, I ain't never. I I'm accosted. What a man said the next in Friday uh, Friday at the next. I'm a Paul. I he ain't a Paul. You a nigga that still. <laughs> Right, it's kind of giving it. Where it's like, yeah, cause she had to, she had to look a little closer, see her, see her, 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 her roses, really smell like roses. Her roses don't smell like boo boo. She had to look, she had to look a little bit closer, right? I feel like she had to look a little bit closer at you to realize that your roses actually smell like boo boo. I, I know you like to act like your shit don't stink. Divine masculine is very much giving it. I, I understand that you like to act like your shit don't stink. <laughs> But things are not as they appear. Roses, and your roses actually smell like dog shit. I'm that bitch. I'm leaving, right? It was all of the secrets. It was the lies. It was the mask. You know what I'm saying? Seven of Swords can be deception. So maybe you actually deceived this person in one way, shape, or another. Actually had a third party or something. But this could also just be simply keeping secrets. Keep, real love is not built on keeping secrets. It's not built on concealing how you really feel. It's not built on trying to make things seem like something that they really not. And she, yeah, and she um dipped out on your ass. And now you definitely regretting it because the cycle is over. Because the cycle is over. And she's, you know what I'm saying? Because, because you were withholding. Because you were withholding. Upright is withholding, penny pinching, right? It's reverse. Yeah. Roses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Outcast so much, but it's very much giving it. Where it's like, yeah, things aren't as they appear. I know you like to think your shit don't stink. But lean a little bit closer. Lean a little bit closer. Divine Feminine had to lean a little bit closer. And she got right on in her power. And she closed up a cycle. Death, yeah, death card. Death with the world is here. So, yeah, it's very much giving she closed up a cycle. And now you like, well, I was with all my, I'm ready now. <laughs> Give me two more cards for Divine Masculine. So, definitely, you have what it takes. I feel like the message for y'all is you have what it takes. Yeah, because you was thinking negative. You was being emotionally fucking childish. Mm-hmm. Devil card with the page of cups. Page of cups is that emotional childishness. That's that you got a lot of dreams and fantasies and, and all of that shit, but then you ain't doing nothing about it. That's that emotionally stunted. You know what I mean? That's very much giving it. Because you was thinking negative, being negative. You was acting fucking toxic, being toxic, probably having um addictions, right? Sex addictions, you know? 
what it, addiction to the mask because that's the thing too when you're addicted to concealing how you feel you're addicted to you know withholding that energy addicted to sex addicted to drinking a lot of y'all probably if you have been using drinking if you've been drinking stop because that still just keeps you emotionally stunted that's not helping you it's keeping you thinking negative a lot of you acted emotionally childish because you were thinking negatively. Things could have definitely moved forward. There might have been one or two hiccups, but things could have definitely moved forward swiftly. So there were some detours. The chariot card is also about detours. It's about moving forward, having some bumps in the road as you move forward, but also having certain detours. It takes you to detours. This connection could have been one that was real simple. But you wanted to overthink, you wanted to think negative, you wanted to fuck bitches and, and be addicted to sex and be addicted to substances and, you know, negative thinking, wearing a mask, having an attachment to the mask, having an attachment to withholding your energy on some emotional childish shit because you, you know that you need to be putting it out on the table because you know that you actually do love somebody and that's why your motherfucking ass is in your feelings. Things can still move forward, Divine Masculine. They can. They can. They can move forward, but you have to move it forward. Flat out period. You have to move it forward. Drop your nuts, stick your chest out, mm -hmm, bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. So it's time to really put in some work if this is what you want. Yeah. I can't make this up. Who at the bottom of the deck? Strength card. And it's going to take some hard work. It's going to take effort. It's not going to be something you could just wake up tomorrow and be like, I'm going to go get my woman. <laughs> It's going to take hard work. It's going to take effort. It's going to take you reminding yourself that, hey, I can fucking do this. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I got faith. My woman still love me. <laughs> even though it might not look like it because she mad right now. You know what I mean? Even though it might not look like it because she cussed me out and blocked me on everything. But y'all still love each other. That's the thing about the twin flame journey. Y'all going to always love each other. But how willing are we in loving each other to actually get right for each other to be together? Or we just going to not do the work? right so give me some message from give me some messages from divine feminine give me some messages from divine feminine let me go ahead and pre give y'all because after i kind of get some traction with these i'm gonna move into patreon just like i did with divine feminine but i'm gonna leave them on youtube for right now yeah shame by key glock is playing so yeah so a lot of y'all are definitely ashamed of how you how you treated somebody because you love them and now you shamed and embarrassed and guilty <laughs> because you acted however you acted and you did whatever you did. Give me, yeah, drowning in emotions. <laughs> Told you. Give me something for um, Divine Masculine. Give me some channel messages from Divine Feminine. What does Divine Feminine have to say to Divine Masculine? What do they want to say to Divine Masculine? daddy issues so you definitely brought up a lot of their daddy issues understanding um that they yeah have to love on themselves focusing on themselves so i feel, do feel like the divine feminines are really realizing how much their daddy issues ran into their situations with you that that you aren't their father and you can't protect them and save them like you are you are their masculine that's it that's all but i do feel like they might still be stuck Where's Divine Feminine still stuck or still tied? I do feel like they could simply just be tied up um, simply in just wanting you. They could have got you some gifts. I feel like if they did get you some gifts, they might kind of be, yeah, I'm seeing conflicts poking out the deck. So they might kind of be feeling away if they spent some money on you. Um, some of them could definitely feel like you can fix it with a gift sexy so i do feel like they want to be sexual with you <laughs> for divine feminines i am seeing that um i feel like they kind of still think about how sexy you are to them right but they are definitely focusing on themselves trying to heal their their daddy issues and their daddy wounds that you have brought up and i do feel like they could still be stuck in that um but i think that they definitely want a gift from you give me something else for divine feminine i do feel like they definitely want to talk to you Okay, you have incoming call here as well, um, and you have outside your comfort zone. So I do feel like a lot of divine feminines are are ready for you to get outside your comfort zone. I'm I'm even hearing it's sexy when you can get outside your comfort zone to talk to me. Is what I just heard. Um, 
for some of them they feel like that would be a good enough gift like if you are thinking about a gift I guess I don't know if y'all talk so if you've talked about gifts or if y'all just you know maybe telepathically sharing ideas I feel like some of them want you to get a gift like that's how you gonna really make it up to me get me something nice um for others of them they yeah they they find it very sexy that you can at least talk so maybe there's a conversation that needs to be had between you and your feminine and they definitely are ready for you to get outside your comfort zone to actually pick up that phone or send a text message um pop up and drive by so yeah it's definitely giving drop your nuts <laughs> and i think that's funny because i was just like having that conversation this morning but you know i keep my business to myself um but i was just having this conversation this morning to myself where it's just like even for my masculine and i guess i'll make this a little interpersonal the way i do with um the feminist but for me i was definitely having this talk this morning too um one of my good readers was just like if you feel like motherfuckers being weak they are <laughs> most men are definitely very weak when they stand next to you they can't they can't measure to you right but ask what it is that you want and you will receive it and for me that was really all i could ask for because i know who i want to be with that's not a question it's not like i'm trying to manifest somebody new but that was really all i could really ask in in, in proximity to thinking about where it's just like i want the motherfucker to drop his nuts take charge like say what you say you know what I'm saying? say what you gotta say and mean what you gotta say stick your fucking chest out if you want me to be your woman, tell me I'm your woman. Don't don't give me the choice. Give me the option because I want to be yours, right? So this could even be the same thing with the collective of feminists where it's like, maybe I'm not the only one. And it's like, pop up, drive by, call me, get outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Don't doubt it. Just do it. You know what I mean? It's kind of the vibe here. Yeah. But it, they also could maybe know how much drama that'll bring. For some of them, if you are kind of having a situation of gossip, they they also know or hear the gossip that's being said about you or about y'all as a as a relationship. There could maybe be drama um, as well surrounding it. But I do feel like they don't want you to doubt anything. They just want you to start taking the initiative. A lot of the divine feminines that I've been rooting for is definitely giving it. Where it's just like, take the fucking initiative. Don't ask me to be your girlfriend. Tell me I'm your girlfriend and tell me not to deal with nobody else. You know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe where it's just like, put your fucking foot down. Put your fucking foot down. This is not Kutakite, okay? This is not slavery. You're not going to get your shit chopped off. Stick your chest out. Drop your nuts. Put your chin up. Put your foot down. Grow a backbone and actually be the masculine. That's what this is giving. I do feel like they want a commitment or either they can think about, they might think about um, marrying you. I do feel like they might want to go on a romantic vacation or maybe they just think about it. They do definitely know that you are um, their love, though. They, they do love you. That's regardless. Yeah, they think about you a lot, the divine feminines. Um, but I also feel like they think about if they should move on or not. You know what I mean? Um, because there is no vulnerability or because maybe some of you still just only want sex. So, if you know, if you still popping up and you still just got dick and pussy on the brain, then it's like, OK, well, even though I love this person, should I move on? Because I don't, I, they out here fucking other people. They out here doing what they want to do. They they only come to me when they dick hard, when they pussy hard. They don't really come to me on some real shit. They don't really come to me when it's love. You know what I mean? They come to me when it's lust. And that's not what I want. Yeah. Because they're in alignment with something else. And it's time. They want you to get in alignment with it. There's that emotional immaturity again. So I do feel like they trying, they, they really ready for you to get in alignment. They're already in alignment. So it's very much either it's giving the vibe of get on the boat or miss the boat. It's kind of what this is kind of giving me. Like either get in alignment or I'll move on to someone else who's in alignment. I do feel like they struggle with trusting you, especially if they did catch you with somebody else. Um, So I see that too, where it's just like, because I did see love triangle. So if this was like a love triangle situation, they don't trust you though. And that could also be why they think about moving on if this was a third party situation. Cause it's like, well shit, even though I love them and I know they're my person, again, shit, they would they out here fucking somebody else. If you could have had a baby on them, <laughs> you know, and all of that really kind of adds to it where it's just like, child, if they had a baby on me, they didn't move on. What the fuck am I still holding space for? So it's very much giving that vibe to uh flooded by Migos' is plan. Divine Masculine, you down at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like they want you to pick up the phone and tell them you love them, though. Something about Florida is giving me emotions. 
So I do feel like the divine feminine could definitely still have a lot of emotion for you to where they are flooded. We did see drowning get emotion at the beginning before I started pulling these. So they could also be drowning in emotions. I do definitely feel like they want you to, to tell them. They want to hear you say, I love you. They definitely miss you. Yeah. If y'all still have pictures or something, they got pictures of you. They probably still look at them. Yeah. But it's the emotional immaturity. Yeah. It's, <sighs> I don't know how many times I can say that. But it's the emotional immaturity. Now, again, divine masculine, if you know it ain't on you. Then it's the divine feminine that that knows that they are emotionally immature, right? Figure out where you go. I'm gonna tell you how to find how to tell divine feminine. Figure out where you go. <laughs> figure out where you go. Or either a book or personal, so we can really figure out some figure out. Yeah, but they feel like you're not growing. I feel like the the biggest worry is that they worry that you aren't growing. That you're still emotionally immature. That you still out here just fucking these hoes. They understand that you have um that you and this person have unfinished business. Do you make them happy? Yes, you are their pursuit of happiness. You are the person that makes them happy. But they are definitely still worried that you just not doing shit, bored. And it's just like okay, yeah, I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? Flipping through channels is what they kind of give me. This is an interest. This is unappealing this is unappealing this is unappealing this is unappealing i feel like that could be them going through their options because again they keep trying to find you and other people uh embarrassment and guilt is here i do feel like that could be still dealing with some guilt pertaining or some embarrassment pertaining to what they put up with you know what i mean divine feminists put up with a lot that's why i said at the beginning of this most of the feminines are under that chaser archetype most people don't follow that but i mean i do i'm I'm, just, I'm my own person so most of them definitely chase just like the masculines usually run right and that could be guilt and embarrassment because it's like damn i really put up with a lot behind a motherfucker for what for what to say i had somebody so i do feel like it kind of confuses them it definitely confuses them a little bit and because it's like Again, should I stay or should I go? It's, uh, that's a big energy that I'm getting from here too. Do I wait? Do I wait it out for this person who probably hasn't grown? Do I keep waiting for somebody who clearly probably hasn't grown and is still emotionally immature? Do I leave? Do I stay with somebody who's obviously had children on me or had third parties and was out here fucking on bitches and is still dealing with other bitches or do I stay? I do feel like they want to see you. <laughs> Unexpected visit is here. Skin to skin is here. Let me take you out to dinner is here. So, yeah, they really want y'all to really do something. They're trying to keep the higher perspective, though, because, you know, they don't want their, yeah, they don't want to be conflicted is what this is giving me. They don't want to be conflicted and have conflict within their own selves. So it's definitely giving. They want you to pop up. They want to, you know, hug you and touch you. I do feel like they are also bored without you. I know I've been picking it up in divine feminine readings where it's like y'all kind of feel bored without your without your other half i do feel like the, the feeling is mutual but i feel like they either want to pop up on you the feminines or the feminines want you to pop up on them they do miss touching your skin and feeling you and they they want something romantic I'm, i was getting gifts at the beginning this is like dinner romantic vacations yeah they're ready to talk it out already <laughs> They already already talk about it already. Vulnerability down at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, flood is still playing. Drowning in emotions is here. So they have a lot that they're feeling. They're just trying to make sure they keep it all in check and that they don't do anything impulsive. Power couple is here. So yeah, they have a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions right now that they're just trying to keep it on the wraps. That's how you feel? Yeah, they want to talk about how they feel. <laughs> they want y'all equally to talk about how both of you feel. How you, how do you, uh, how you feel is Drake by drake is playing ain't that the name of it that's how you feel yeah um what was it uh uh what was that Nicki minaj for because he put Nicki in him uh yeah rule number one to be a boss ass bitch never let a clown nigga try to play you if he play you then rule number two is fuck his best friend and make him yes man that's how you feel <laughs> you know so i definitely feel like they're trying to keep their feelings in check I feel like the divine feminists could be feeling a lot right now. Overall, they do want to talk it out, possibly over a nice dinner, you know. Um, but I do feel like overall, generally, this makes me feel like they're just trying to keep their emotions in check. So maybe that's how they feel, right? Where it's just like, well, fuck that nigga. I'm finna go fuck his best friend, you know what I mean? But it's like they're trying to keep that under wraps too. No, divine feminine, don't do that, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just going to walk away because they don't care about me anyway. And da 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 No, divine feminine, don't do that, you know. So they... Are trying to make sure they keep their shit in check. 
they I feel like they trying to talk it out with other people or like therapy and talk they want to talk to you but overall they do see you as a power couple they do they do see you as their other half they're equal yeah they're working through their own karmic cycles about you know thinking negative and being negative yeah the karmic cycle of not seeing the higher picture not seeing the bigger lesson of what all of this was meant to teach right learning how to you know balance between their head and their heart and that's why i said they che they keeping them emotions in check because when divine feminine get in her feelings she can get real in her feelings and when she get in her head it's like what feelings so the, the divine feminine is also understanding and wants you to know that they're learning how to have a balance between both yeah standing in their own feminine energy with their mommy issues really learning how to you know be that woman that they know that they should be yeah but it, it's conflicting it's conflicting because they've been disappointed by you because they have heartache still that they working on they do want intimacy though so i do feel like overall for this collective they're just very torn open options is here yeah with divine feminine so i feel like divine feminine also might have some options open for some passion and some intimacy right now they might be kind of you know playing the field please forgive me is here so that also could be a channel message from divine feminine if they do have options open where it's just like sorry you know what i mean but then again you know y'all are separated what are you meant to do divine masculine this could even be you yeah separation this was at the bottom of the deck so yeah they could maybe feel guilty or feel like like they feel sorry because they are you know yeah dealing with other people outside of you if they are um putting other people in between y'all but then again y'all are separated that's why i said divine, divine masculine what you gonna do Keep your ass on your shoulders and you're going to get your ass off your shoulders and you're going to go get your bitch back. Because I, I, <laughs> I did hear you'll never, ever, you'll never ever get your bitch back. So, you know, depends on you. But you have what it takes to get her back. You just got to actually do it. You have to believe that you can do it. Half on a baby is here. So they do want to go half on a new beginning. For some of them, they actually want to have a child with you. They do vulnerability is here so they do want to be vulnerable they do want to be open yeah but you guys are actually separated right now so it's causing them some issues and it's conflicting again especially if they um know that they want some sort of intimacy and passion they could be kind of going outside of the connection to get that because you you're not getting it financial issues is here they could also be maybe focused on money right now if not um sexual you know things they could also just be focusing more on their money to try to give this lack of attention they don't want to give this too much attention passion is here but they do have a lot of passion for you they are just very disappointed still in you divine masculine y'all the last card out so that's your message book it depends on what you want to do with it what you gonna do what you gonna do you going to let this be the one that got away or are you going to actually do something about it? You going to keep watching from the sideline or you going to actually stick your chest out, drop your nuts and say, OK, well, let me let me get right so I can get right. Some of you are actually doing that. I will say I did see that. Right. So some of you are planning. Some of you are plotting. It's just slow. Maybe this is, you know, what I'm saying that could have been your own money where it's just like, listen, I'm, I'm coming. I'm just <laughs> we going to go on vacation. I'm going to get you gifts. I'm just trying to get the money together. You know, give me some time. <laughs> But overall, I do feel like, again, the message here seems pretty simple. Okay. I feel like you could be feeling like things are ir irredeemable just as much as divine feminine feels like you just digging around. Okay. Neither of which is true. Things are not irredeemable and you're not just around digging around. But divine masculine, like I said, you got to be the one to take the initiative. That's why y'all are the masculines. It's meant for you to actually take initiative of the connection and say, okay, I'm going to take it upon myself to actually set the tone for this to say what this is and say what it isn't to say where we going and what pace we going at it's not the feminist job and that's a hard lesson for the feminists to learn even though again they're the chasers and they're the pushy ones and they're the ones who want to really initiate things it's not for them but the chaser has to one day stop chasing and it seems my collective of divine feminists stopped chasing and y'all definitely stopped running but now it's like you stopped running because they stopped chasing. So now you're like, well, now what do I do? What do you what do you want to do? What does your heart say? Right? Because things aren't as they appear. So if you know that you want to get your bitch back, but it's just like, I don't really know if she wants that back. She does. Okay. But again, and some of you already know that you have faith in that, but you feel like you don't have what it takes. 
you feel like you don't want to be that lover boy in a family or in the friendship of players and it's just like depends on you what's what's worth it what's not you know nobody can tell you what to do me divine feminine your mama your daddy it depends on what you want to do depends on how bad you want it if you don't then you know keep digging around and if you want it then go for it you know for those of you who going for it go for it because you're already on the right track you're, you're planning and i do feel like your divine feminine will be very happy okay thank you again so much for visiting my channel my name is b definitely drop down below in the description box um to you know actually get to find me on some other platforms and things um if you need to book with me definitely get with me in the website um join our patreon family it's growing subscribe join our youtube family it's growing um yeah and until next time bye peace out